Hello students, welcome to Solar Cells classes. In this video, I will be solving some of the geology questions from JAM 2017. Now, in the previous video, I have already solved up to question number 17. So, in this video, I will start with question number 18. Now, in this question, we have which one of the following lithostratigraphic units is of Phanerozoic Eon. Now, this Phanerozoic Eon is the current eon. It is the current eon that is the eon that is going on in the geologic time scale. In geologic time scale. And it covers 541 to 0 million years ago. million years ago. So this is the Phanerozoic Eon and among the following options only Utatur group is the lithostratigraphic unit which is of Phanerozoic Eon. So the correct answer is option number C. Now in the next question we have some of the geological processes and we and some of the Indian stratigraphy and we have to show match the geological processes with their corresponding example of Indian stratigraphy. The first one is Permo Carboniferous Glaciation. This glacial development in the southern continent of Gondwana glacial development Glacial development in the southern continent of Gondwana. It began during the Carboniferous. It began during began during. Carboniferous Here it is attributed by cyclic nature of coal cyclotherms It is attributed by cyclic nature Cyclic nature of coal cyclotherms to alternating high and low stands of the sea. So, it is attributed by the cyclic nature of coal cyclotherms to alternating to alternating high and low stands of sea. And it is related to advance and retreat of glaciers. So they are related to advance and retreat of glaciers. This glacial period it lasted into the Permian. So, it is called Permocarboniferous Glaciation and one of the examples of it is Tulchir Formation. So, it is, so with P that is Permocarboniferous Group, the corresponding example is Tulchir Formation. Next is Cretaceous Marine Transgression. Marine Transgression is a geologic event during which sea level rises relative to the land. So it is a geologic event during which sea level rises relative to the 
the land so it is a geological cross event during which sea level rises relative to the land and the shoreline and the shoreline it moves towards the higher ground it moves towards higher ground now during the cretaceous the sea floor spreading created a relatively shallow atlantic basis and it is done at the expense of deeper pacific basin so it is done at the expense of deeper specific basin so marine translation is a cross is a geologic event in which the sea level rises relative to the land and the shoreline it gets higher ground it gets to the higher ground or it moves to the higher ground one of the example of cretaceous marine translation is Arialur group so it is p3 q1 next is neogene fluvial sedimentation now fluvial is a process associated with rivers and streams so it is a process associated with rivers and stream and the deposits and landforms created by them and deposits and landforms created by them and neogene refers to the later division of tertiary period so the example of neogene pluvial sedimentation one of the examples of this is shivalik group so next is r2 so the only thing it is left is cretaceous inner tropian sedimentation and corresponding to it it would be lamata formation so the correct answer is option number a